Welcome to our tutorial about editing materials. Let's begin by opening the material browser. At the top portion of this window, we see the materials that are used in our current document, in my case, the generic default material. In the bottom portion of the browser, we see the materials in the selected library or category. OK, let's learn how to edit our materials now. Next to the gear icon at the bottom left of the window is a button for creating a new material. Let's click on it. First thing to do is apply physical and appearance properties. Let's begin with appearance. Notice that when I mouse over appearance, or when I mouse over the word physical right underneath it, there's a button that appears to the right. This is to replace this asset in this material. Let's click it. The asset browser opens. In the panel on the left are the libraries that come with Inventor and the appearance library that we created in the previous tutorial. Let's expand the Autodesk appearance library. Select metal, aluminum, and let's use aluminum dark. Now click Replace this asset in Material. And let's close the Asset Browser. So what we've done is apply the properties of Aluminum Dark to our Appearance property. Let's do the same for the Physical property. Hover over Physical. Now click Replace Asset. Let's use the Autodesk Material Library. Expand the Metal Branch. Aluminum. And let's use aluminum, the top item. Click Replace Asset. And the last thing I'm going to do here is define an appropriate and memorable name for our new material. I'll call it aluminum. And click OK. Here is our first material. Let's grab it and drag it into our library. If you need to edit your material, you can do it right from this window. Just double click on the material. We get a prompt. A material or appearance with the same name exists in this document. The local copy within this document will be used. Let's click OK. And let's replace the appearance here. Click on the Replace Asset button. Let's expand the Autodesk Appearance Library. Metal. Aluminum. Let's use anodized blue and click Replace Asset. And let's close the Asset Browser. And we should give our material an appropriate name. We'll call it Aluminum Blue and click OK. Now you can see what's happened. Inventor did edit the document material, but not the material in the library. When I'm done, I can grab and drag it right into my library. And let's double click on Aluminum Blue. Let's replace an Appearance Asset. Click Replace Asset. Let's expand the Autodesk Appearance Library. Metal. Aluminum. And let's use Anodized Red. Click Replace Asset and close the Asset Browser. Now let's update the name appropriately. I'll call it Red. Click OK. And once again, I'll just drag it right into my library. Deleting materials from your library is pretty easy also. Just right-click on the material and select Delete. And this concludes our tutorial about editing your materials.